In this video, I put some practice questions for you to review on electronics information to prepare for the ASVAB test. How many valence electrons are present in most semiconductor materials? But before answering this question, let's define what valence electrons are. So valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost shell or the energy level of an atom. And they take part in chemical reactions. So these are the valence electrons in um, yellow. And how do you find or identify the valence electrons? So for, for neutral atoms, the number of valence electrons is equal to the atom's main group number okay, from the periodic table. So for example, um, carbon, carbon here, this one, carbon is in group four, therefore carbon has four valence electrons. Now let's go back to the question. We are asked for the valence electrons of semiconductor materials. So most semiconductor materials have um, four valence electrons, making them neither good conductors nor good insulators. And examples of se se uh, semiconductor materials are silicon and germanium. We have here silicon and germanium. So they're on the same group as carbon, therefore they have four um, electrons in their valence shells. So the answer here is four. Three amps equals how many milli? Amps. So we're given here 3 amperes, and we need to convert this to milliamps. So a milliamp is 1,000 of an amp. So every amp, 1 amp, ampere, is equal to 1,000 milliamps. So we're given here here 3 amps so we just have to multiply that by 1000 therefore 3 amps is equivalent to 3000 milliamps so the answer here is this one Alright, what type of electrical circuit is depicted below? So we're given here an illustration, or uh, this figure here. So let's take a look at this figure here. So we have loads. The loads in this circuit are R1, um, R2, and R3. So R1 here is wired in series while R2 and R3 are wired in parallel. Therefore, the answer here is this one, series parallel circuit. A series parallel circuit has some loads wired in series and some loads wired in parallel. The resistor color code for two is so let's take a look at this chart here. So for color code, um, the color code for two is red. Okay, these are the colors here and um, these are the value of the band code or the color code for the resistor. Which of the following statements are correct uh, regarding a voltmeter? So what is a voltmeter? 
a voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference between two points and it is also used in parallel with a circuit when measuring voltage so ideally a voltmeter should have high resistance so that no current flows through it while measuring the potential difference between the two points so uh, the statement here that is correct is should be this one a voltmeter is used in parallel to a circuit All right. Um, the electric power consumed by an electric kettle is 2,000 watts. If the voltage being supplied to the kettle increases four times and the current flowing through the kettle is decreased by half, what would be the effect on the power consumed by the kettle? So the formula of finding electrical power is power equals voltage times the current so if the voltage increases four times and the current flowing through the kettle becomes half then power is just equal to four times the voltage times half of that of the current therefore this is just equal to two times voltage times the current so the electric power of the electric kettle here would become double. So the answer is this one. What is the basic operation of a step up transformer? So the basic operation of a transformer is to step up or step down the voltage in the circuit. So if the transformer is a step up, then it will step up the voltage and step down the current to maintain the power such that P equals V times I in primary and secondary sides of the circuit. Therefore, the answer is this one steps up the voltage and steps down the current which of the following is not a characteristic of a step up transformer so as their names indicate a step up transformer is used to step up or increase voltage and a step down transformer is used to step down or decrease voltage so in a step up transformer the secondary voltage is higher than the primary voltage and it has more turn in the secondary winding than in the primary winding so the one that doesn't belong here is one of the characteristics of a step up transformer is this one the primary voltage is higher than the secondary voltage because in a step-up transformer, the secondary voltage is higher than the primary voltage. If an electrical circuit is interrupted, which of the following will result? All right, so when we say a closed circuit, that means it is a complete loop or path that electricity follows. It consists of a source of voltage, a load, and a connective conductors. So if the circuit is interrupted, if a wire is disconnected or cut, for example, it becomes an open circuit and no electricity will flow. Therefore, the answer here is open circuit if an electrical circuit is interrupted what type of switch is the given picture okay so we're given this picture here illustration 
So this is a push to break um, switch. So pushing the button breaks the circuit. So when you release the button, it returns to its normally closed position. So this is a push to break switch. What is the load in this basic circuit model? So in a basic circuit model, there is a voltage source um, pictured here as a battery here at points um, A and B, a load and, and conductors. So the conductors are drawn using the lines and arrows. The load in this model here is the light bulb, this one pictured um, at point C. So the answer here is this one. The examples of loads are light bulbs, resistors, and motors.